Hi, today I'm going to show you how to manage your appointment module. You'll go to Features, select Social and add the appointment module by clicking on it. Once you've added the module, it will open up in the Settings tab under Locations. It will have a pre-populated location. You can edit this location to be relevant to your business. You give the location a name, an address, you select the date the location will be available, the start and end times for the location to be available, and you can add date breaks for when the location will not be available for appointments. When you're done, click on Save. To add a new location, you would simply click on the plus button, enter the same information, and click on Submit when you're done. You can remove a location by clicking on the X button and clicking on OK. To add services, click on the Services tab. From here, you can add categories, and within each category, you can add services. To edit categories, click on the pencil icon. Give your category a name. Click on Save. To add a new category, simply click on the plus button and give your category another name. Click on OK. Your category will now be available. To manage services, simply click on the pencil icon to edit a service. Give your service a new name, set its price, set the time it takes, this is in minutes, set the buffer time, select the category, and set your loyalty points. To add a new service, simply click on the plus button, give your service a name, give it a price, select a service time, some buffer time, select your category, and assign your points. Click on OK. Your service will now be available. Clauses and managing clauses are part of the premium appointment feature. You can add providers. You can edit current providers by clicking the pencil icon. The name an email, you can add a cell phone number, a quick description, and a profile image, and click on save. To add another provider, simply click on the plus button, set their email, set a number, description and add an image and click on OK. Your providers will now be available. Should the image be black like this, you'll just go in again, add, re-add the image and make sure it loads completely before accepting. You can add the different times available for people to make appointments. You can reselect these, update your dates, and select the start and end times of the day breaks. Once you're done, remember to click on save. You can go to the options tab. And here you can set the settings. Confirmation and cancellation emails. Who will those go to? The store owner email. Should it be a specific store owner that would receive the appointment? Set whether reminder emails are sent. Set whether, whether confirmation and cancellation SMSs are sent, as well as a reminder SMS. Select your time format, your date format, whether to hide the price or not, whether to display appointments or not. Clauses are a premium feature, so this would have no effect, as well as the multi-appointments booking. You can set your cancellation criteria and your cancellation policy. Add cover image, which would be this image, a booking icon and a notification icon. Be mindful of these dimensions. Once you're done, click on Save. From the Integration tab, you can add the appointment widget code to your website for people to make appointments from there as well. Integrating with Google Calendar and accepting appointment payments are both part of the premium feature. And there you go. 
that is the end of configuring your appointment module.